it's Lizzie Duck, and in this Still Talk video, I will be talking about the history of horses, specifically how they've evolved through time. This video dates back millions of years, so let's get into it. Horses have evolved similar to how people have evolved with the environment and learned how to adapt. Around 55 million years ago, when the first horse lived on the earth, it was known as the dawn horse, and it was the size of dogs. But there was still forest and plant-based eating animals similar to our little horsies today, which we all know and love. Don't we, Peach Pie? Yes. Roughly 30 million years ago, though, the Mesohippus started to appear, which looked much more like a horse due to its long snout, and it ate much more foresty-based animals like our horses do today, all their plants and leaves. But it didn't really eat much grass, so that was a little bit different. Are you playing with your ball? Are you playing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, was, hey, yo, that's not how getting treats works. No. These horses, like their ancestors, known as the Equidads, and their counterparts were the Equohippus, Mesohippus, pa Parohippus, and Megahippus. Over a few millennia, the North America temperatures became colder, and the forest-like, tropical forest-like plants died off, which then caused the grassland to appear, which made a new type of horse, which was later known as the Mercy Hippus, Pillow Hippus, Neo Hipparian, Dino Hippus, which sounds really interesting, and the Parano Paranonian. Only one ancestor survived until modern day, which was known as the Equus. It's also thought that it evolved from the Pilohippus, which was about 2 million years ago. The scientific name for a horse is the Equus Calibus. As the Equidats adapt into the changing world with different gene types and characteristics, some of them continued while others died off, which is basically evolution. However, you can see how these once small forest-like creatures grew into large grass grazers that we now have today. The equine migration. Equidads originally appeared in North America at the same time when they were hunted for food, which caused them to migrate to South America and Asia. After this, they were later brought back on ships for now the purpose of use instead of eating. The domestication of horses. It's very surprising that people could ever domesticate horses. I mean, they're 10 times bigger than us, way stronger than us, way faster than us, and is being a little turkey head right now. However, part of it was because of the horse. Horses are herd-based animals, and they follow in a certain pecking order. And once you become their leader, they think you as, they see you as part of their herd. Farmers learned that they could train horses, even ride them with certain equipment, which made their jobs and lives so much easier. Which just shows how much horses will be going to, will be coming to help them. Horses were officially domesticated in 300 BC, and about a thousand years later, they learned that they could breed horses to be better at certain activities. Most horses could actually trace their heritage all the way back to North America and the Middle East. Overall, horses really helped us build the society we live in today, and it just shows how much we have to thank our little equine friends for. We wouldn't even have a society without them. We never would have had cars or anything. We have a lot to thank them for. And it's good that people treat them and love them and house them and treat them as their family like we now do today. Anyway, if you watch this YouTube video and you liked it, then please follow me on my Instagram at Lizzie the Emo Equestrian and on my TikTok at Lizzie the Emo Equestrian. I really hope you enjoyed this video into the history of our little equine friends. Uh, my next Star Talk video will be on the history of humans and horses and really just how we became
became friends. So come back next time.